Welcome to Pro Wrestling History Daily Top 5. I'm your host, the eclectic gentleman, Stefan Watts, and join me as I count down the top five moments for this day in pro wrestling history. But before we get started, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And without further ado, let's get our wrestling history on. Number 5, 1944. Rocky Johnson is born. He was the first African-American Georgia heavyweight champion, as well as a two-time NWA television champion. He won the World Tag Team Championships in 1983 along with his partner, Tony Atlas, to become the first African-American champions in WWE history. He is the father of actor and former WWE wrestler Dwayne The Rock Johnson and grandfather of Simone Johnson, a.k.a. Ava Rain. Number 4, 1985. The Dream Team, Brutus Beefcake and Greg Valentine with Johnny V, defeat the WWF Tag Team Champions, the U.S. Express, Mike Rotunda, and Barry Windham with Lou Albano. When Valentine pinned Windham after Beefcake, stuck Johnny V's lit cigarette into Windham's eye to win the title. This ended the Express's second reign. Number 3, 1994. Ricky Steamboat pins WCW United States Heavyweight Champion Steve Austin by reversing a slam into a cradle to win the title, beginning his fourth reign. During the match, Steamboat suffered what would become a career-ending back injury. Number 2, 1969. Frederick Koch passes away. Known professionally as Fred Collier, he was an American professional wrestling promoter, the owner of Fred Collier Enterprises. Collier produced the popular Dumont Television Network program, Wrestling from Marigold, from 1949 to 1955. Collier promoted matches in Chicago, Illinois for close to 40 years and was responsible for such talents as Vern Gagne and promoter Jim Barnett. He was also the president of the National Wrestling Alliance from 1961 to 1962. Number 1, 1945. Vincent Kennedy McMahon is born. He's the executive chairman of WWE, the world's largest professional wrestling company, having previously served as its chairman, CEO, and controlling shareholder for over 40 years. And that's our list. Make sure to comment below what you feel was the number one moment for this day in pro wrestling history.